Recommending that somebody eat less as a solution to their size is just encouraging them to develop an eating disorder. This fucking guy's face. I just, I just assume I'm going to throw up because my brain's going to explode. So let's see what this guy will serves CRVS pumpkin. This is the guy I'm assuming he's going to, this is the guy who's going to talk like this. He kind of talks like he's smiling all the time. He just tries to maintain a smile and talk at the same time. Let's see if he does it. I'm just calling it. Cause I see the thumbnail and I want to something. There's just something about this guy's face. Like literally let's just pause it. Recommending that somebody eat less. Yeah, he, he, he is it's something this fucking, this guy's face. God damn it. I don't know what it is about your this face. This fucking guy's face. I want to deliver one of these right in fucking. your suck hole. Is there anything I can do to work on that? So Not really. It's your face. Give me Tourette's bro. God damn it. This fucking guy's face. This fucking guy's, this guy's fucking face. But Papa Swole, that's an ad hominem attack. No, that's a swollen attack. Damn straight it is. There's nothing. There is nothing. There is no rule that I have to like someone's face. Was there ever such an impossible man? Just a punchable face, right? Just a face you just want to fuck him. You might think I have a punchable face. Fucking bring it on. Yeah, this guy is just a... Yeah, his face. Fuck. Fuck. All right, let's see. Recommending that somebody eat less as a salute. All right, somebody eat I'm less. sorry. Recommending somebody eat less. Why do you have to start talking like this? Recommending somebody eat less. All right, well, I'll play it for, I'll finally play this video. All right, sorry. sorry. Fuck. Recommending that somebody eat less as a solution to their size, especially when you don't know anything about how they eat, is just <laughs> encouraging them to develop an eating disorder. And Why are you smiling while you're talking? It's really uncomfortable for everyone to watch. Let's be honest, people like you have probably already given them one. <gasps> oh. You're talking to me. Oh, the audacity. Let's play that again. Let's play that again. Recommending that somebody eat less as a solution to their size, especially when you don't know anything about how they eat. If someone is morbidly obese, <laughs> I can probably guess how they eat. <laughs> and they should probably eat a lot less of the shit that they're eating and eat quality foods. <laughs> is just encouraging them to develop an eating disorder encouraging them to develop an eating disorder sticks and stones my brother if someone develops an eating disorder that's because they just have weak character it is they have a weak character if they develop it based on what someone else says i understand people can get bullied and stuff like that but they are developing it they are doing it they are not the victim they need to take control of their health all right and I'm going to narrow that down and rephrase that because I do know it came off like, oh, they have a weak character. Papa Soy is so mean. Yeah, not everyone's in the same situation. Some people really do have trauma and shit that they were really young and they didn't know any better. Most people that are like young and obese and have eating disorders when they're really young, they're fucked up by their parents. They're either abused, they're sexually, they're sexually abused, they're verbally abused, they're fed garbage by their parents. And yeah, that's why we're that's fucking raging so hard. So parents that are listening to this might think about, oh, fuck my kid. I got to take care of them. Yeah. A lot of people start off and they have no other option, but they find solace in the junk food that their parents buy. So this is not about people like that. These are about fully formed adults. And this is part of the problem. It doesn't change the fact that you need to be the solution. You need to be the solution. You need to go get therapy. You need to be the solution. You have to stop listening to what other people say. If you don't want people to post about something online, people to judge you, then don't post online. Throw the fucking phone away, get a flip phone and go live your life because that would help so many more people. Seriously, if you post a picture of you being 350 pounds, expect something in the comments or don't read the comments or just don't post pictures and just keep a private profile and just comment on other people's shit or like stay anonymous. Like if you stick your neck out, be prepared to take some fucking shots. Take some shots. You're going to take shots. How you react to them is on you. So I'm not encouraging anyone to, de to develop an eating disorder. There are people that do have eating disorders. Stop justifying people's victimizing mentalities. Stop justifying people's excuses. Stop justifying that like it's my fucking fault that someone doesn't stop eating donuts. Oh, it's my fault? And let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> we don't like your face. 
People like you have probably already given them one. Oh, oh look, oh, we have a white knight, everyone. We have a white knight. You're such a good person. We got a fucking, this is the definition of virtue signaling. We do have a knight in shining armor. Ladies, you need a new best friend for date night? You got one. You fucking. Mr. Strickland. You fucking got one. The more you hate me, the more you will learn. Oh, people like you have already given them one. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so at all. How many bodies do you have buried under your floorboards, bro? The problem with the eating disorder thing, and you see this always in the hashtags, ED recovery gives this kind of lunacy, like, oh, leeway to say whatever they fucking want and get away with it. And then it's a don't hurt me hashtag. ED recovery. It really is. Some people are actually posting about eating disorder recovery, but they're not posting stupid things that don't make sense. Okay. If you're posting stuff about fat acceptance, body positivity, like in that way to manipulate people into thinking it's okay to be obese and you're using that hashtag, it's a shield. It's a shield. Don't hurt me. Right. It's like putting a BLM sign in your store window. So it doesn't get burned to the fucking ground. It's the same thing. Don't hurt me. Protect me. Look, I'm virtuous. Look, I have a communist fist in my fucking store window. Don't burn down my business, please. I'm one of you. I'm a believer. Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Rilla mo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real queen. New throne for the new king. Same kid, I'm a streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke. We in Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Rilla mo. I said, stay woke. Rilla mo. Stay woke. Rilla mo. Y'all some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns You will not get a laugh out of me You can talk, but you can't denounce I live a different theology Why I transfer to a new account You just fucked over a prodigy Posted up with a rented crown You are the king of the apology You about to see a new side of me I hope you know We stand